So this video is about finding the mean. Now what is the meaning of mean? Well in very simple terms it's just an other word for average. So always remember mean is a single expression it represents the whole group and then it conveys a fairly adequate idea of the whole group. I'll give you a quick example. Suppose you have a data set which tells you about the age of boys and girls in a particular class. So you have a column that is dedicated to boys and then you have another column that is dedicated to girls and you have the required data. I mean to say the age of all the boys that are there in the class and similarly you have the age of all the girls in a class. Now if you were to take the average of this so it will give you a very fair idea about the entire column saying that okay in a particular class maybe the boys are of 18 to 20 years and similarly it will give you the fair enough idea about maybe the girls are from 17 to 18 years. Therefore average is this single expression which made you come to that conclusion which gives you a fair idea about the entire group. In this video we are going to learn how do we find out a mean for a frequency distribution. I have a question here on the board so let's solve the question and simultaneously understand how to find out the mean. So here I'll write down all the steps. So before we start I would like to straight away give you the formula so that you can look at the formula and understand what's happening. So the formula is x bar is equal to summation fi times xi by summation fi. So don't worry about these individual components just remember this formula and I'll explain everything in detail. So just keep it in focus. First thing that you need to remember is the fi over here let me just choose a yellow color for that so fi over here is nothing but your frequency so let me just write it down fi. I think it's easy to understand f stands for frequency therefore fi stands for frequency. So the first thing that we need to find is the mid value. Now in the previous video I have told you how to find out the mid value. The mid value is nothing but the middle value of the class interval. So how do we find the mid value? We simply take the upper limit and add it with the lower limit and then divide it by 2 which gives us 60 by 2 and that is 30. So 30 is the mid value of this class. Remember that. Now the term xi in this formula is nothing but your mid value. So here we write it as xi. So let me just rename this new column mid value and mid value is always the middle value of the class interval. So the first one we got it as 30 and the second one is 40 and this one over here is 50 and this would be 60 and this would be 70. So we have almost found all the elements. We have got the fi, xi. Now what does this stands for? This is nothing but summation or this is a symbol of sigma but we call it as summation and the meaning of summation is nothing but addition. Before summation we have another problem, a minor one you know here if you see the on top of it the elements are fi times xi which means we have to multiply these two values. So fi is the frequency and xi is the mid value. So we have to multiply. Therefore the second step is to multiply the mid values of different classes by their corresponding frequencies, respective frequencies. So let me just choose a third color and here we will write it as fi times xi. You have to simply multiply these two terms. 6 into 30 is 180 and then 10 into 40 is 400 and 5, 50 into 80 is again 400 and 12 into 60 is 6 to the 12, 1, 720 and 17 to 4 is 280. Let me just make some space over here. Now we have to find out the summation that is the addition of all products. So summation fi will give us the addition of all these things. So the total value would be 40. Similarly the summation of fi xi is equal to 1980. So let me just write down the formula of mean. So always remember x bar is the symbol given to mean. The formula is, is equal to summation fi xi by summation fi. So the value for the top one is 1980 divided by and summation of fi is 40 and if we cancel that that gives us 99 by 2 
and then 49.5. Therefore, we conclude by saying that the mean of the following frequency distribution is 49.5. So this is how we find out the mean of a frequency distribution.